Cowboys. Both these players are really well known though within the Chicago area. They're very good, so this is gonna be a crowd hype set regardless. Even though it's Villanova, like you guys, you guys just watched a couple of sets ago. Prior to us coming on, you watched um, Panda Bear play him against Seth, so you know kind of where he's at. You see him. You're seeing it now. You think on paper that Mario has the has the capabilities of uh, dealing with Panda with uh, Bill's doctor, but yeah, Panda Bear honestly kind of on fire today too. Like he, he was looking really good in that set against Seth. Oh yeah. Get the win here. That'll definitely be a, a good win for him. This semi too, yeah. Pretty much oh. almost perfect stock. Like I went, he got hit like what twice? Yeah. He took like a he took like a, like one or two exchanges without a solid enough percent, but that beautiful read in that board smash too. Good yeah. boy. Like that damage coming from that. Just completely decides not to deal with the mud rocket, which sometimes is like the best way to deal with it, which is yeah. not deal with it at all. Yeah, yeah. He was so ready. He was yeah, I'm sure that's a, ready. that's a normal interaction with him at this point. I'm sure he, he's used to that kind of stuff. At point blank, too. At point blank, too. Wow, good parry, but wow. With that landing hitbox. Seldom comes out, but you know. Hannah Bear's playing all point right now. <laughs> and he's like. He's not even like, you know, I like, usually see the whole, uh, the ledge panda bear stuff, but like, he's actually kind of playing aggro right now, too. I like that recovery. Good person. I actually yeah. like how he just got out of there. Because there wasn't really, like, if you try to see him go for the, uh, the grab, probably would have got hit. Villager doesn't have the uh, fastest grab. Sometimes just getting out of the, the situation is the best thing to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't do that very well yet. I think that's been kind of like Panda Bear's staple in this setup overall. Like we just saw him having to happen with the up smash. Yeah. Getting out of that jam. His uppies, under the stage, just getting out of situations that would be disadvantageous at all. Just not even dealing with it. Good stuff. Yes, it's definitely an underrated option. Like you see people all the time like getting hit and dying, like trying to do too much. <laughs> like when they're at a disadvantage. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Literally utilizing his zoning tools and like not in the sense of, of like projectile, but zoning in the sense that you cannot enter this area and then punishing him for entering the safer zones. And you see uh, a couple times Panda Bear getting a, a decent read on Pan's jumps. He's calling out the jump. That time he's getting the stock. Absolutely. Man, finally getting that first stock. Absolutely. Good stuff from him too. Very nice catching him on that on, on the aggressive approach. Like from stage. Like we were just talking about how Panda was spending a lot of his time retreating in those situations. Uh -huh. So for Nanda to have the awareness to see that Panda was going for the aggressive option and punishing him on reaction with that, shows a lot of respect for that possibility. You know what it's talking about. Got bears. Bears. Making bears look like real fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And losing out to a lot of these area area interactions. Axis live right now. Good grab. And fair. Yeah. Gets out of that jam, but that recovery, he can do literally whatever he wants. And I like the stall with the Lloyd Rocket. Oh and my Oh God. no! Oh my goodness. Oh not like this. And Panda Bear. It's super clean right now. Even his apex. This is there for sure, but they're there. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, you have a jump. Don't do it. No oh, man. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Very well done, second game. Now I'm going to get Panda Bear right there. Mm. Beautiful dissected game. That entire sequence of edge guard actually was top Don't five. Mario. Going straight into game two. Yeah, honestly, in the neutral, like, Panda Bear had like all the control. Like the whole time, you could tell that Dan was like kind of playing his game. Like, he, he controlled the pace of the game. He controlled the neutrals. Definitely had to see what Dan Yo. Like, oh, no. Yeah, but no. Yo, yo, 
Yeah, that's not a start you want to have. <laughs> no, but what is happening? We, we already keep having all these crazy early spots in every game, every set so far. It looks like what Dan might have been trying to do though, like, maybe that's why he threw out the forward smash like that, because he was probably reading Dan's own into like a wall jump, which would have consumed his, like, wow. That's a clean combo right there, not gonna get a stock, but, oh! Beautiful, that is a good combo, I like the pressure he's going to apply with his positioning too. Yeah, honestly, if Dan get the stock here, it's not gonna matter too much that he lost that stock so early. Actually, yeah, 48%. Anything sub 60 with Vildra isn't that bad. Yeah. yeah, there you go. There it is. Man, just gonna turn it on, man. Like, that, that ever since he lost that stock, like, he, he had Pan on the rope. And I feel like that's the type of way he wants to play. He wants to take the control back. Like, if you can pressure Vildra for sure, Vildra's only option, like, to get out of, uh, get out of like, boxing situation is there out of shield. His Very only much. real option is there out of shield. What is, uh, what is this? <laughs> Slowing down tempo right here. <laughs> you gotta ice him, you know? What times you got to? What? Yo! I think he's trying to get a damn tilt. If you got nothing out of that, like. <laughs> uh oh, oh. Jab forward smash. Not gonna kill though. But yeah, Dan, back in this game. Pretty much even. It's good to see Dan not like triggered by that because of uh, that's true. You gotta admit that was throwing a ton of players off to be stuck in that kind of situation. But Dan is playing like I just lost that stock legit. Almost getting caught by that team. Oh yeah, there was a, there was the roll the roll for man. man. It's, it's usually you know people usually say it's a scrubby option, but like sometimes it's a buffer. Like sometimes that's what you can do about it. Ooh, good recovery! Oh, man, just ran into that. <laughs> that was like some Looney Tunes stuff. <laughs> Wiley Coyote. Okay. Cheeky, cheeky plays. Really, is this what we're playing right now? We're playing Lloyd Tennis? Ember, really trying to slow it down. Which is interesting too, because yeah. any kind of momentum that Dane is trying to build up is being genuinely taken away. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, bro. Like, like game one, like Hanabear had all the momentum. I guess he doesn't want to play it unless he has his momentum, you know? <laughs> I'm either in control or I'm not playing the game, right? <laughs> exactly. Fuse. And if I'm not in control, we're not, we not playing no more. <laughs> that's the thing that's not the Classic. Very well played, too. Yeah, special right there. Yeah, after this throw, oh, not able to get anything off that up throw. That's a, that's pretty big, actually. Panthers cannot keep letting Dan you know, get these trades in and win these neutral exchanges. They will take that money from this. He is a very patient player. Like, we've been making like, lots of comments about it, but Dan is exceptionally patient. Just about tight in the sense, too, but not where you want to be again. Wow, but caught by that falling up air. Get Dan a couple of right there. Oh, it's 777 and less 50%. Oh, the respect, and he just walks away! He just keeps what he wants. Nah, just walk away here. Man, in the lead now. Well, after that shaky start, like, he really turned it on. Sometimes that's the, that's the thing that you need, right? He's playing his game now, too. Ooh! That's a sour spot in the forest, man. How he like angled it up? Yeah. I, I, like, I felt like it was down, but like, either way. Oh, okay, good grab, good grab. Respect the shit out yeah, Sometimes, like, when you're in that in close quarters for villager, like, there's not much to do. That's why you saw Phantom Bear just hold shield right there. He, if he does anything, yeah, if he does anything crazy, you know, you just get hit by a forest man, get hit by us man, so like. No situation. You can kind of see why Mana Bear is such a good slow it down. Not much to do in that at close quarters. And that's what I'm saying, man. You, like you couldn't, you can't let Dan keep getting those slips in. Like you got one or two tags in, that's all you need to continue to take the game. And you're absolutely right. Like Mana Bear in those situations, there was nothing else he could really do. Dan, of course, being aware of that going into the dab, 
now seems to take shield away for the next like soldier shield. Yeah. And like what else is he gonna do? He can't nair. Nair out of shield like we were just talking about. Like he was in a really poopy spot in that situation. <laughs> and Dan really took a Three, that two, one, go! And he needed that too. Like this could put Dan back in the sack. Like he needed that so bad after that like heavy loss in the beginning to prove that it could be done. Yeah, if you're dead, you're playing pretty good off that mic. I basically just won that with two shots. So I definitely feel a good going in the game three. Oh. Like, honestly, he's carrying that momentum oh. right now. That's a little bit of nervous for him. He's got a fireball by the way. There isn't a lot of things to do with this. Honestly, right. yeah, at this point, it looks like a completely different game from game one. Absolutely. Ooh, good jump out. So I think, I think, I'm looking at this now, and it seems like the strategy to remove, like, to take Dan's momentum actually took his own momentum away. Because he did go into game two with, that, with a complete stock advantage at, like, 30%, yeah. <laughs> but had chosen to slow everything down to the point that made Dan kind of himself. Honestly, like, Dan and Barrow's looking stronger than the matchup, but, like, he was playing aggro. Like, he controlled the tempo completely game one. Oh, yeah. Like, he was looking better. And he literally completely gave it up now. We're gonna see though. It's, yeah, not, too see. it's not too far off. Like, Dan is definitely kind of running away with it. Like, it's definitely doable. We're at home turf for him too. Good back there. I like that. Catching Dan trying to go back and toss up. I didn't get the shot. There. Put him off stage. Good. Pivot jab too. That's a great trap for the uh, leg trap. Oh, ow! That's a great trap. Oh, he just wants that tree out of there. Get that, get that tree out of there. I am not here to save the day. Oh, I like that. The weight there. Let me stop. Anna Bear really gonna have to turn it around right here. At 94%, it's gonna be tough to come all the way back. Not impossible, but like, Bill is just another one of those characters kind of like Sonic we're just talking about the movie set. Yeah. That he really wants to be. Oh yeah, that's because he's trolling the game. It's, it's a different game when, when, when uh, Bill is just in the lead compared to uh, the opponent. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful up smash too. I kind of like the choice to air dodge over the situation. I'm a little iffy on the boost with the boost, so, but I kind of feel like he hit him with the soft nair. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity for Dan to kind of just choose any option. Oh, Dan. Wow, I'm surprised he kill it. Yeah, that was such a guy. First the way Dan's been tossing up these out smashes, you, unless you're preemptively prepared to get hit, you're not, you're not going to just swap the eye back. Dan's taking that stock. Looking like he's uh, in control right now. And Dan is a very emotional player too. So he cannot let this get to him. He's doing very well. He's doing that same mindset he had going into game one. If you want to continue running with that. But every single hit he's that Dan's getting, he's converting into like 30 damage. And none of villagers can miss what options will work as long as Dan has that successful action. Good, good action. Let me ask you a question. This isn't too far off, man. Like, well, it wasn't for that combo. Oh, A2 is kind of tough now, but he was still. Yeah, man. See, every time you see the, those two characters in close quarters, like, Hamburg either, like, holding shield or he's, like, resetting the neutral, but he's not alive. I don't know can do there. And that's just the nature of the character at that point. I feel like in the situation that uh, Bill, that he just, uh, Panda just tossed that bear when he wore that back around it coming off the platform, it's a little specific. I feel like I feel like he was trying to uh, to move around the platform like he wasn't trying to land on it. That, that's something I'm just thinking about. Yeah, he, he can't do anything here. <laughs> he literally can't do anything there. He's not gonna take oh. his back there. He has no jump. He has no jump. And that's the set. No, it's not. I think that's game three. I'll is that the set? Is that best of five? Best of five. Okay, so it's best of five. That's the third game day. Yeah, somebody's must have caught me tripping. <laughs> caught me tripping. Wow, so I it's not it. too late.
Yeah, great game from Panda Bear. Yeah, like honestly, it's like almost the opposite of game two, right? Like, Dan felt like he was in the driver's seat that whole game. And then Panda Bear kind of stole it at the end. Like, I, it's hard to even tell, like, when, like, he got the momentum and everything. Like, he just kind of, like, at the end, he just turned it on and just took it. Absolutely. Kind of the cool thing about this game, too. It's like, we're literally looking at situations where the player has a very defined lead, and it's just not mattering. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Smash Bros. is not about health bars, man. Absolute. Until the announcer says game, you're still in. And no true awakening being shown in this set. I like that. Good uh -oh. choice to narrow in that situation. I feel like air dodge might have been a, might have been a solid option too, but like Naring got him uh, like how to reverse the situation. He's still in like disadvantage and he's still kind of losing. But at least for the time being, he's, he's showing that he's not afraid to go get the air dodge now. Which kind of forces Dan to respect him in, in those times when he comes out when, when he's an advantage, like he has the dodge for the man now. Of course, if he stays in advantage like this, it's not gonna matter. Back here. I like stock. Ugh! Bro, chill! I get it. I don't need to call Spock in the band, man. Alright, so. 4%, but. That was still doable for Panda. I get it. Yup, yup. Punishes the miss tag. Beautiful combo, too. Trap. Oh, I like it. Good stack and catch it and jump in. Panda, you take a jump? No. Yeah, it's all jump. It's very, very good that it's that, 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 that forward stash has no quality at all. Yeah. Ooh. Just chooses to go for the goal. Respects Dan's positioning goal. Oh, I like that too. Another oh, that kind of joke. Yeah. Amber Bear, yeah, honestly. Uh, down by a lot that stock, but he's gonna bring it back right there. Now, back to even. Oh, yeah. Two stocks. That entire exchange was like Panda genuinely catching Dan, uh, uh, trying to come at a disadvantage over and over again with ledge shot after ledge shot. Yeah, they're just calling out everything. That's how the, that's how looking game one, two, actually. Yeah. Ooh. Call the tech this time. Not getting punished for that twice. Okay, interesting. So this is that, so that's really good then. So Dan of course trying to go for the for, for the cost of the situation. Pain had a lot of different ways to get advanced attack. I'm liking that he's still going for the uh, for the nair, but he's also aware of the cross up, so he's so he's fading it back to catch him on that too. Oh my god, Lloyd just Completely invalidating the flood. Yeah, I'm never able to actually get the to go off. Wow, the hatch. Keeping it up right here. Ooh, good. Back there, what's again? Every single time Dan tries to land with an aggressive option, he gets clipped by one of these swing shots. Covering everything right now. Dan is not getting off his leg. He's going to take the stock right there. Perfect play. Nothing he can do. There's nothing you can do that. An apple? My guy. What? I thought that was only when items were on. No, it, it happens. That's awesome. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's something, something stupid. Something stupid alone. Yeah, he kept the dock away until he had regular Mario. Oh, man. And Dan is forcing himself in. He's just trying to, like... He's, he's wedging himself into the situation, but that's exactly what Luke wants. Yeah. It's for you to aggressively run in, pressing all of these buttons like he is now. He used his jump, he used his aggressive option, he had nothing left. Nothing. Nothing yeah. left. Kind of had a little pop off too. Yeah, I don't think the camera saw it, but yeah, that was a little pop off. But yeah. It's good little stuff right there. Uh, that last stock, dude, like, he kind of ran away with it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so great set, yeah. Absolutely, and again, like, the more that Dan was aggressing in, the more he was trying yeah, to do yeah. to run that game, to run those stocks back, the worse it was getting. It's, it's just... Yeah, like, uh, the last two games, 
uh, we didn't see Panda Bear keep the lead, right? Like, we were talking about how it's a completely different set, like, when Villager's in the lead. And so we saw that. We saw how different it was. Like, it, it, it can get kind of rough. Oh, yeah. Mario, when he has to play from behind.